Today, I am talking Cordesan necks, so stick around. Hey everybody, it is Aaron at Warmoth, and if you have played guitar for any length of time, you have likely heard the term quarter sawn or quarter sawn neck. Now, if you are a lumberjack or a sawmill operator, you already know what that term means, but if you're a guitar player, you, you may not know. Um, so today, I'm gonna go over how quarter sawn wood is cut from, from a log, and then I'm also gonna cover uh, how quarter sawn applies specifically to guitar necks. So even if you are a sawmill operator or a lumberjack, uh, hang in there because maybe you can, you can learn something as well. Um, so first I should kind of define what quarter sawn means. So quarter sawn ref refers to uh, a piece of wood that is cut from a log in such a way that the grain structure of the wood runs perpendicular to the surface of the wood. So if, if you have a, a piece of lumber that you've cut out of a log and the surface of that lumber is here, that means that the grain is going to run this way. So you have the surface going this way and the grain, all the, you know, all the grain lines are at a 90 degree angle to that. Now they don't have to be exactly 90 degrees. There's a certain amount of variance in there where you can still call it quarter sawn, you know, maybe to 80 degrees either way, and that's all still considered quarter sawn. So in the guitar world, we typically classify a neck as either flat sawn or quarter sawn, and that is determined by how the lumber was cut up from a log and where the particular piece of lumber that made that neck sat within that log, and that sounds more complicated than it really is. It's actually quite simple. And to help demonstrate it, I've made this diagram. All right, so take a look at this. You can see that logs are cut in generally a couple of different ways. And flat sawn is the most economical. It's the one that makes the, the best use of the wood and gives you the highest yield. And basically, you just feed the log into your log sawn machine at the sawmill, and you just slice it up. You can see that it's just sliced up. Um, and what that will yield, well, it will give you the highest yield. You'll be able to make use of the most wood. And all everything up on the top here and everything down here will all be flat sawn. And you just have this one sweet spot right in the middle here that will give you quarter sawn wood and you can see that this wood the grain the grain lines in those uh, slices runs perpendicular to what will be the surface of that board and so you just you get the you get the least waste the highest yield but the least amount of quarter sawn wood when you quarter saw a log the first thing you do is split it up into four quarters hence the name, and then you basically flat saw each quarter. Um, and so you can see the difference here in the way that it is sliced up. And what that does is it gives you more slices running perpendicular to the grain. So now not only do you get this sweet spot with quarter sawn boards, but you also get a vertical sweet spot with quarter sawn boards, and then you still end up with these on the edges that are more flat sawn. And then the last way to slice up a log is called rift sawn, and I don't, I don't think a lot of sawmills even do this because it's just too wasteful, but doing it this way gives you the highest amount of quarter sawn out of a log. And basically you start by splitting your log up into four quarters, and then rather than just flat sawing through each quarter, you slice it up in kind of a radial fashion so that every single slice is cutting straight across the grain. So every single piece, every single board that comes out of this log is quarter sawn. The problem with that is look at all these wasted areas. It creates a lot of waste in there. That's why very few places do this. Uh, most of the time, if a, if a um, if the goal is to get a lot of quarter sawn wood, they will just slice it up into quarters first 
and then flat saw each quarter. So now that you understand how quarter sawn lumber is cut, the next logical question is, well, what makes it so desirable and what makes it more expensive? Well, as we just saw, when you cut quarter sawn lumber, you're wasting more of the wood from the log and that has to be accounted for. That's part of what makes it more expensive, but it's mainly more expensive because it's more desirable. That's why it's even cut that way in the first place. And it's more desirable for two reasons. One, because it's more dimensionally stable because the surface is here and the grain is here. So it's, it's a more stable wood and that's desirable anytime you're building anything where stability is a factor like, um, like furniture, like a table leg or a chair leg or a guitar neck. And second, because a lot of people find quarter sawn wood more aesthetically desirable because it has a nice straight grain structure as opposed to, you know, a kind of zigzagging grain structure. And also, besides just the straight grain, you can get these little, um, I don't want to say checks, but like flex. You can get this little kind of cross hatching or flex within the grain that is very, very pretty. Um, and I'll show you an example of that in a minute. Um, but if you have a guitar neck and you're unsure whether it's quarter sawn or flat sawn, it's very easy to tell. This neck right here is quarter sawn. And if you can imagine the lumber that this neck was cut from, the surface of that lumber would be here. And so if you look at the end of the heel, you can see that the grain is running perpendicular to that. So the, the surface of the lumber was here and the grain is running at a 90 degree angle to that. So that's a dead giveaway that it's quarter sawn. If you look at this flat sawn neck, you can see that the grain is, well, it's got a little curve to it there, but it's almost running parallel with the surface of the lumber rather than perpendicular to it. So that's a dead giveaway that this is a flat sawn neck. Now, if we go back to the quarter sawn neck and you look at the back of the neck, you can see that the grain lines are running all the way down that neck in a nice, neat fashion, just straight grain lines all the way down, even through the headstock. At the end of the headstock, we even have a little bit of flame going on there. But if you look in real close here, you can see some of that kind of cross hatching or those, those little flex that I was talking about. Very, very pretty. Now, if you look at the flat sawn neck, you can see that it's got more of that wavy grain, that kind of zigzaggy pattern. Even up here on the headstock, it's got kind of that wavy or zigzaggy pattern that is very indicative of flat sawn. And uh, once you can ID them, which is quite easily, quite easy, then the next question is, to a guitar player, does it matter? Um, and that really boils down to two things. Does it sound different and does it feel different? Now, for me, I've never noticed anything that I could point to and say this is how a quarter sawn neck sounds. I don't hear any sound difference at all. Now, that's probably a question for Eric Johnson. He, he, uh, I know he prefers quarter sawn necks. That's what he has on his signature models. And he's, you know, he's well known to have the ears of a bat. Um, so maybe let's ask him if he hears a difference. I, I don't. Uh, but as far as feel, I definitely do. Um, when I'm playing a quarter sawn neck, there's a certain, um, th there's a more of a rigid feel. And by the way, I'll be the first to admit that if you gave me 20 guitars and asked me to play them blindfolded, I probably couldn't pick out the quarter sawn versus the flat sawn with any perfect consistency. Um, but that said, just, you know, over the years, uh, whenever I play a quarter sawn neck, I always notice this, um, that it has just a certain rigidity. Like when you're playing a flat sawn neck and you bend a string, there's this certain, certain flex in the neck or just kind of a give. Or like when you drop the tremolo bar, you can feel that there's just a certain flexibility in the neck or a certain give. Um, when you play a quarter sawn neck, I, I just, I don't feel that. It feels more like rock stable. Um, and whether you prefer that or not is up to you. You can make great music on either kind of neck. Um, so it's not like, you know, if you pick one, your music career is ruined. You can make great music on any of these necks. It just really comes down to what you find uh, feels best to you. 
And now here is my Warmoth Meadowhawk. And I know I show this thing off all the time, but I'm, I'm proud of it and I think it's a great guitar. And I have gigged with this guitar. I've done fly dates with it, you know, traveled with it. And I can tell you that the neck on this thing is as stable as it gets. And it is quarter sawn. Well, it's, it's quarter sawn roasted maple with a Warmoth modern construction. So it is like, it's as stable as it gets. And um, I have to believe that it being quarter sawn is one part of that. And if you look at it, you can see that it's got the grain that just goes right along the neck. And then you can really see the flecking in this uh, working its way up the neck, kind of that cross hatching. It's just a really beautiful pattern on quarter sawn necks. And that is quarter sawn necks. I hope that you enjoyed that, found it useful. I certainly enjoyed talking about it. If you have any more questions, make sure and check out the Wormuth website. There's more information about quarter sawn stuff there. You can always give our customer service reps a call. And until next time, keep on picking. <laughs>